so in here we're going to create a function called uh, the same way this is uh, get images we're going to just say get total so we'll get all the images that are in here and that's going to be an easy one because it's just a query and we return db so let me come back here paste but i need the db I will put it right here. So DB and then select all from images. So none of this matters here, just all from images. And then instead of returning uh, the result like this, we want to count how much this is. Okay. So I will say count. So count will count how many items are in an array. How many, uh, yes, how many items are in an array. So since this is an array that we're returning here, we can simply count it. And now, instead of get images, it will be get total. And we don't need anything here. Okay, so get total. So we can just go back to our home, uh, index and right here you can add one more page total now this it's not in the pagination class it's in the image class load images right here so i will do this after i get the load images there so data total is equal to load images. Uh, where is this? Get total. Yes. What I was looking for. Uh -huh. Page total. That's the one. So let's refresh to make sure I haven't broken anything. Okay, great. So now that we are here, uh, let's use Toto. Let's go back to our index page. And where is that Toto? Let me copy this. So the Toto is here. And we'll just say page all there we go refresh so yeah there we go so page three of six are they six images let me go back home hmm i doubt it let's go back to lord images and put reasonable number there limit of 16 refresh Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it's correct. They're actually six. So let's try and upload one more here so that we see if that changes. So click to upload a photo. Here we go. New girl. Upload. That's a new girl right there. So now you can see the number is seven. So out of seven. Uh, yeah, so everything seems to be working uh, very well. Hmm. But now when we click on any of these items, we are not taken to the single page for this image, for these images. So in order to fix that, we need to be taken to the photo detail uh, page. So unfortunately, we don't, we don't want to have a controller with a hyphen like that, but an underscore can actually work. So what I'm going to do is go to here where it says uh, photo detail and rename this uh, file to put an underscore instead so I'll do the same just to simplify things uh, video detail I'll rename that one as well like so okay so photo detail right there right so on this one uh in order to create the new page 
let me refresh and also the link should be updated on these images so there's a single image here where it's telling us to go to uh where is the link photo detail so we're just going to put an underscore there like that and we are good to go so now to finalize we create our controller so let's go to controllers and new file save so this one will be photo detail dot php so we just copy from one of these that is uh, another controller we'll go to photo detail and just paste there and then we will do photo underscore detail like that okay change the title photo details or something and then here the file also is photo detail so let's see if we go back to photos and click on photo detail then uh, we are taken here photo title goes here and then the image there okay great so let's fix that so we have data over here which is cool photo detail but we need to be able to read um, it's just photo detail here we need to have some extra data here so let me go back to single image here so at this point we'll put a slash over there so it's supposed to be photo detail and it's also very important to add root here so i'm going to get this paste it there so for all these root is very important so i just need root here by itself root photo detail and then over here i need to add one more variable so let me paste that there remove the root so this one will be url address So this URL address is unique to every uh, image. So when I go back to photos and go here, so you see that there's a URL address at the end of each link if you look down here, which is good. So let me click here and we have something there. Okay, so that is one of the parameters we can use now to read. So let's go to the photo controller. Oh, no, photo detail controller. This one right here. So what I want from this is to read from the database. So I want to read from the database and then add the data to here. Okay, photo detail. So in order to read, I need to collect some data here. And this one is going to be URL address like that and i'll put empty string like so just in case it's not there okay so now if this is still empty uh, you can use that you can do an if statement and use that to display a different view that tells you that the image was not found or something but we're not going to do that in the interest of time so here what we will do is just read from the database uh, so let me go to load images which is our model here load images so there's get images and there's a find there okay which is great and then there's get total images right there but i want my own where i can get an image using a url address so I'll call this one get single underscore image. So here, select all from images where URL address is equal to URL 
URL. I'll just say URL here just to limit one, something like that. So then I'm going to add an array here. I'll just put it here. I'll say array URL is equal to whatever was put in here URL address. So let me grab that, put it there. And then I can do that and put the array here but we don't need count here because we want to return actual results so let's remove that okay so get single image that's the one right there uh let me go back to the photo detail yeah this is the one okay so i need to just uh where is the image class? Image class, no, not this one. Just the load class here. That's what I called it last time for lack of a better name. So load class is equal to load, load images. That's the model we are looking for. And then I can just say this here. Get single image and the URL real address is coming from the url and then we'll put it there okay so in home what did we use for data images right so I'll come back here and say data Okay, so if the image is found, it's going to be in there. Data image. Great. So let's try and refresh. No errors. So it's, it means things went well. So we'll find our thing in here, our data. So let me go to down here to my views. And then I'm going to go to photo detail and try to replace some things. So like here, it says uh, photo title goes here, right? So at this point, I'm just going to put my tags like so. Do that and close them. So data image. And then uh, title. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, wait here. Um, if I go back to load images, right? This is the model, single image, where we are loading a single image. So the result that comes out of here is uh, an array of objects as well. So what I should do is to say this data is equal to and put it here and then here I'm going to say data but I just want to get that single result the one that is at the beginning okay great so now so that when I go to single image uh, photo detail photo detail there okay so inside here I can simply point to title like that so let's refresh okay so we are getting somewhere so there's a title here which is good so you just need to copy the way this format is and then put uh, some replacements for example the image here now we will put the full image here and not the uh the thumbnail version Instead of title, I will say image. Oh, double E for no apparent reason. 
Hmm. Why isn't it working? 